I want you to know that my father fully supported you. He appreciated your willingness to listen. Thank you for joining us in this fantastic event. I just met with Frank Lemire's family when I did my very first event as a candidate for President of the United States. Frank came and we had a chance to meet. Uh, my dad was, <laughs> he was incredible. My name is Jennifer Lemire. I am the eldest daughter of Frank Lemire. He was what they call the white clay warrior. I remember in 1999, I think is when um, some of the initial work started with white clay and he persisted. He just went on and on and on. I don't know how many times I'd hear about his road trips to uh, white clay and, and many times on his own. He poured his life into every bit of his work. He was the voice for the voiceless. Because Frank talked about the importance of a seat at the table. He's got some big shoes and, and I have little feet. There's many of us that need to step up and, and be like Frank Lemire. I don't think he'll ever know the impact that he had on, on those individuals and that tribe and, and that community and I am just so honored to be his daughter. So, oh, so thank you so much. At the hospital, in, in his last few days, I want to say June 11th to be exact, he said, Jennifer, you need to help me with something. I, I gotta get this message typed. It's really important, I gotta get this. Jane's headed to a meeting and I gotta get this across to her. And he had me type up the candidates that he was supporting. And his number one was Elizabeth Warren. I'm here today at a conference in his honor, a chance to talk about how we can reset the relationship between the federal government and the tribal nations. To do that as part of Frank's legacy.